Yep. Ooh, nice puppy drum. Or red drum. I don't know the difference. But yeah. <laughs> Day one guys, I just got the house. Isaac and Spanny and my dad have been here since Monday. It is now Saturday. Caleb and Lindsay got here a couple days ago. Me and mom just rolled in. We are going to TW Bait and Tackle, I believe, in the name of the store. We're gonna go get some stuff to fish the sound since the uh, weather is not that great on the shore right now. No shark fishing yet, so we're kind of excited to get the kayak out tomorrow maybe, but. For now, we're gonna fish this, the uh, sound and we're gonna try to get some uh, reds, I think. Maybe some flounder. Let's get out there. It started raining a little bit. These little bugs bite. We have no bug spray. Everybody else is coming in. So, I'll put, my, put the keys in there too. Is that waterproof? Oh, kind of. Sort of, maybe, kind of, not really. Get in there. Well, here goes nothing. What do you got? Speckled sea trout, brother. Yeah? Target? Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. That's exactly what we were trying to catch. He's just a little guy. Oh, look at the teeth on him. Bad teeth on him. Speckled sea trout. It's about a foot long. Could keep him, but we're not going to keep any of these guys. It's a target species. Redfish, I think. Nice redfish. All right. Look at that guy. Heck yeah, red drum. Two spots on his tail. First time I've ever caught one of these too. We're just knocking them off the list. All right, all right, back in the water he goes. Heck yeah. Now Luke's got something. Found out that it was hooked. Well, you, gotta, you better stop him. I got plenty of line. You need some more backbone on that there rod, dog. Dude, this is the rod they, they <laughs> sold me at TW, and this thing ain't got no balls. <laughs> Five pounder. That might be a Dude, that's... seven pounder. Yeah, they got teeth on them? Yeah. Little ones. Got them? Oh, that's going to be difficult. Well, as much as I can stretch. Not bad, though. There, yes. there he goes. Heck yeah, dude. Six pound drum. My first fish of the day. First drum. We actually came out here and we're somewhat successful. Yeah. Let's see if we can keep it going. It's actually working out pretty well for the first time. We probably got an hour and a half of daylight left. And the bugs aren't too bad out here, so we're going to keep it going. Or not quite. Maybe not quite, but he's not small. He's the same size. Here we go. Right. 
my second fish of the day. Oh, heck yeah, dude. Yes. We're gonna get a quick release on him. Yeah, just get him back in the water. We saw him finning. There was there was at least a couple of them. And Luke casted right there and he hit pretty much right away. That was awesome. The nibblers. All right, Again, Luke and Isaac really out here, Simon Brothers Outdoors. Just remember to like and subscribe to our channel. We're out here just finishing up some flats fishing for reds and trout. Had a pretty successful evening. This is our first time ever doing this with a kayak. Still trying to get some last minute casts in, but it's starting to get dark. There's a storm coming in. We're down here in the OBX fishing the flats. And it, it is absolutely beautiful out here. And the bite is going pretty good. We're not really sure what to expect, but Luke caught about a four pounder and about a six pounder reds. And I caught a 12 inch trout and also about a two and a half pound red. It's been absolutely beautiful out here. We're gonna finish it off, but it has been perfect. Everything we could have asked for so far. And keep an eye open because we're gonna be uh, starting to shark fish tomorrow. Hopefully, if the weather holds up. We haven't been able to do much from the surf because it's been so bad with the hurricane off the coast. But stay tuned. He smoked it right now. No camera. You want to try to get him over here? No. Yeah, you're right. You want to take him 100 yards to shore. Come on that spoon, huh? Yeah, on the spoon. Right at the surface, too. He came up for it. You have to land him like a man. Yeah, I guess so. I'm going to have to tie him up. Nice puppy drum. Or a red drum. I don't know the difference. See? <laughs> First waiting red drum. Right off the beach on the sound. Yep. Very nice. Let's get the hook out. All right, that about wraps it up. We're headed in, it's about 10.30, just that one fish today, but we're gonna start shark fishing. Hopefully we can get a shark on the beach today. Stay tuned. Oh, almost went in the drink. All right, we're back out on the inlet. We're just waiting. We got the kayak with us. I'm just hooked to it. Kind of keeping all of our stuff in there. Inlet's pretty shallow right here where the state boat ramp is. Bridge is right there. Boat ramp's over there. We're just gonna work these edges, maybe go out in the middle, see some people waiting out there. See what we can get into. First speckle of the day, the Oregon Inlet. Don't do it. Our lines were just tangled up and I thought I had something on and ended up being on Luke's line. Yeah, I wasn't even paying attention. First speckle on the mirror lure. First fish on the mirror lure. Just threw it back on after we started getting little nibbles on the uh, little twister tails. First redfish of the day. And he is not bad. Def definitely my biggest. I mean, you can see the weather out here. 
There's not many people. First red. Of the evening on the mirror lure. Double spotted tail. Definitely a nice fish. We're gonna let him go. First redfish of the evening. Oregon Inlet. Not so calm water. All right guys, time for a gear review. We're gonna show what we've been using We've been here for about five days now. I think I'm up to almost 10 red drum, maybe five or six speckled trout. I am using a St. Croix seven foot medium light power, fast action graphite rod. There's 10 pound braid on it, main spool, a little tiny barrel swivel. And then about six inches to about two feet of 20 pound fluorocarbon line. Got all of this at TW Tackle. You can bring your own down. I don't think it makes that big of a difference. Our best hitter so far is this one quarter ounce red jig head with the uh, Galt Minnow four inch chartreuse pepper neon swimming mullet. The uh, trout have been taking the tails off a little bit. So every time the trout takes the tails off, we've been throwing this mirror lure on. And I actually had my best day with this the other day, yesterday. I caught two red drum and a speckled out in the uh, rough surf. I also caught one on this gold weedless spoon. But mostly been using this uh, small little swimming mullet. This slow jigging it off the bottom. 